Today we are doing a gigantic, humongous H&M autumn haul, kind of like an autumn winter H&M haul. Um, and because it's so gigantic, the box, honestly, I felt sorry for the postman having to carry it upstairs. Um, I'm gonna split it into two parts. I end up doing this all the time with my H&M haul, so make sure you're subscribed with the Lambo button on to see part two. Um, there's a lovely mixture of knitwear, coats um, and just yeah some really dreamy bits a few nice blazers and actually some perfect autumn winter boots that I just feel like are the boot of the season so let's get straight into it if you're excited hit the thumbs up and if you're not already follow me over on Instagram I'm at Katie Victoria Helen say as my name is on here um, and I share daily fashion inspo so make sure you are following over there too Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Oh hi. <laughs> that was just some clothes falling on the floor. My name's Katie and if you are new, hello, welcome. And if you're a channel subscriber, you guys are the best. So many dreamy pieces, almost don't know where to start, but I'm gonna start off with this absolutely gorgeous, really thick, chunky knit. Um, it's quite heavy, it feels such good quality, and I just love the pattern. I feel like it's very festive, very like if I'm gonna go on a snow trip. Um, somewhere abroad, really cold, in a log cabin and read my book with some nice faux leather leggings and some like nice biker boots or like those snow boots. That kind of vibe it's given me, but you could also easily wear it with nice skirt, tight boots kind of vibe as well. Um, this I got in a size medium. If you are new, I'm a size UK 12 and I'm five foot nine. Um, and I always go for mediums on H&M um, and normally it's okay, but I'll let you know how we get on with the fit of things. This is quite an oversized fit, as you can see. It's quite square, quite chunky. I love the fringe detail. We're seeing this quite a lot this season. Um, and yeah, I just really love this one. Let me know what you think. I'm not gonna mention price, but if you do fancy anything, all of the links will be below this video. So yeah, really great little number to start with and can't go wrong with a good chunky classic knit at this time of year. Moving on to a slightly dressier piece. Obviously at this time of year we go out a little bit more, we've got some occasions to go to, things to do, people to see, um, and things to celebrate, which is obviously lovely, but it just means getting dressed up a little bit more. And I tend to, I'm a bit naughty, I tend to stick to black a lot. So I just thought this like off-white cream blazer would be a great addition to the wardrobe at this time of year. It's got the gold on, which I feel like brings in the festive sort of vibe going to be so easy to wear over so many things and lovely just to pop on even maybe like over your shoulders you've got a little slip dress on going out for the evening or could easily be worn with like jeans boots and heels and a nice top for maybe like more of a casual drinks night that kind of thing um again got this in a size medium it's really nice it's a little bit of an oversized fit but it's got the like um quite nice structured shoulders it doesn't have any padding in them but they are quite nice and structured and yeah it's just a really lovely fit it's a really nice classic blazer and I just think it looks really ridiculously expensive look at the material it's literally an absolute dream and so easy to wear and just a classic staple piece very like Zara vibes moving on to this little two-piece which actually is not a two-piece however the color is identical so it's clearly been made with the same fabric also didn't realize I've done this before as well I didn't realize when I was ordering this is from like the mama selection now there's no babies happening here just yet but if you are, you know, expecting a baby, this is from that section. So, and also if you're just like me, when you have food babies, absolutely great. There's nothing like over, over, overly sized about it. So, so the skirt is absolutely dreamy. It's like this lovely, lovely soft material. I think it was under 20 pound. Um, it's got quite a high split on the leg, which I kind of like, just makes it a little bit more like movable because I'm sure if you guys have ever worn a midi skirt before that's like straight or pencil, you will know exactly what I mean when you're like walking like a penguin because you can't walk your legs out fully. So that um, little split is just an absolute dream. I think it's such a lovely color. And obviously both of these items could be worn many different ways um, paired with different items or pieces. Um, and then the jumper, I think this is actually a really lovely jumper. This is going to be like a classic knit, which I think this time of year, like I said, maybe sometimes we have knits that we hold on to for like a long time. Like I just literally had a wardrobe clear out, which reminds me, I'm going to sell everything on Vinted. So I'll leave the link to my Vinted down below if you're a UK size 12 or around that size. Like I do have varying sizes on there. Um, then head to that after this video. Um, and yeah, lots of my 
pre-loved wardrobe pieces will be on there but sometimes you just need a little wardrobe refresh of like your knits at this time of year. It's got two little bits of slits on the side. This is very long and I have tucked this in in the cutaway, but I do think you could wear it out like over some leggings, which is really nice, gives you a very versatile look. It does tuck in nicely, but you could easily wear it out as well. Um, and again, I think that was under 20 pounds. So I think a really, really nice quality knit for that. If you didn't want it that big, like it's very, very, very big, um, didn't want it that oversized, then I would definitely size down. A little bit different. I always like to push my boundaries, my style, and um, and just just try different things, especially when they come from high street brands. I just think, well, come on, give it a go. And I, I'm like half in two minds about this. Let me know how you what you think down below. It's half giving me like the really cheap bin bags that you buy and then they break vibes, or it's actually giving me like quite high end vibes. Like I can't tell which one. I think I like it, but I think it's just a little bit big. I think if I went down to a small, it would be a bit more fitting and because of the puffiness of it, it wouldn't be so, felt a little bit like a pumpkin size in it. Um, it was, one doesn't want to stay on the hanger. I've also been a bit ill, so if my voice sounds a bit dodged, that's why. And also, if you've missed my videos, I'm sorry, but leave me a comment down below. I've been on holiday and then I came back and had flu. So it's been a little while since we've done a video, so it's a little bit overdue, but I'm back and hopefully you guys will be glad. And if you are, let me know in the comments section, because it's lovely to hear from you guys. Um, it's got these drawstrings on the waist, so like cinch it in, and I pulled them in as far as I could um, to give that illusion. However, you could leave it like open and undone and they don't need to be cinched and it's just more of like a chill vibe look more casual um but yeah i do like it i feel like you would be kind of restricted wearing it i can't think of that many ways to wear it other than like over like black leggings and black you know tra maybe some trainers very chilled vibe i mean i don't really know do you think you could dress it up i don't think you probably could but i think this was about 50 or 60 pounds as well so a little bit higher for h&m but yeah, I'd love to hear your opinions in the comment section. So leave me a comment, let me know. Moving on to this dreamy shacket. This is probably one of my favorite items from the haul. Um, shackets are something that are new for me. Like I know they came out last year, but I wasn't really sold on them. I kind of felt like they were a bit like boyish, like a bit Tom I didn't really know how to style them. So unless I know that I'm really gonna wear something, I tend to hold off um, just in case like, they're like a fast fashion piece. It's a style that's only sort of in for one season that kind of thing. Um, so for me, when they came back this year, I just was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And I got like a neutrally colored one. And I think this is a lovely sort of like black and gray kind of one as well. I think it's good to have like two, if you're gonna have two, like a nice neutral one and then a nice like gray tone one. So for me, this is it. It's absolutely dreamy. It's quite oversized again, but I do like that. Could easily wear it undone with like a plain t-shirt underneath, some jeans, or you could wear it with like done up like this with some skinny black leggings, um, maybe some faux leather leggings. If you wanna know ways to wear faux leather leggings, they're like my go-to this season. So I've styled them like 10 ways over on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me over there. Um, yeah, absolutely love this. And I think this is around the 30 something pound mark. So quite reasonably priced, I think, for like the quality and how like soft it is. Cause sometimes they can be like quite a cheap material and quite like rigid, but this is actually like really soft, really cozy. Um, and really nicely, like nicely made, really good quality. So yeah, really impressed with that. And I love the shape and the fit and the come to. Two, moving on to the blah, the boots that I feel like are this season's boots. They're like the welly boot. They're like a big chunky black welly boot. And as soon as I first saw them, I was like, mm, not sure again, a little bit heavy, a little bit like just not very feminine, but I have found many ways to sell them again over on my instagram go and check them out um but i just love them now i've actually been styling a different pair over on my instagram they are from new look but these ones obviously are from h&m and they're a little bit different style the other ones are quite tight around the leg whereas these are nice so if you've got a little bit of slightly bigger calf these are for you um i really just like the shape of them i like the weight of them they're not too heavy because the only problem with these kind of boots and I've tried a few pairs, is sometimes they can weigh a freaking ton. And you feel like you're like walking around with two like bricks on your feet. No one wants that. So these are really lovely. I do find you have to maybe think about sizing it up, but sometimes it can be the complete opposite and you have to size down. So just like bear with the sizing, I think on these kind of 
items. I don't know why they've got this quite so wrong, but these are an eight, they're a little bit too big. I normally do go for a seven, but I'm wide fit. So do with that what you will. <laughs> these I think look great styled with tights, little mini skirts, chunky oversized jumpers, um, but also could be worn with jumper dresses or tucked in um, with like your skinny jeans tucked in, leggings tucked in, nice loose jumper over, very versatile, but very chic and really nice, easy way to elevate a casual, more everyday, boring, not, you know, normally quite boring look, just elevate them with these. So yeah, I really like these. If you guys are on board with the welly, sh welly boot trend, let me know. I feel like I'm coming in with all the goods in this one, <laughs> but there are some awesome pieces in, in part two as well. Um, I think the last piece I wanna show you is this bag, which I am in love with. If you guys have seen the Celine bags, this is very much Celine-esque, um, but just with like the faux fur, Christmas element. I just feel like this is a perfect bag for this time of year. I just think it's so sweet. It's so fluffy. It's got faux leather all around the edging. Um, it's a really nice sort of size. And this does, does, does come in all black as well, but not furry. And it did come in like a tartany sort of Burberry-esque print, which I actually thought was quite cute. I almost ordered both, but I just like restrained myself and ordered one. And I think it's only around the 20 something pound mark as well. So I think it's a really good price for what it is. Um, yeah, really, really cute. If you're into like these fluffy bags I've seen everywhere at the minute, then this is, this may be the one for you. Super cute. Super cute. Okay, we'll actually do a few more pieces because there's still quite a few to get through. Um, a tartan mini skirt. Now, never did I ever think I would be standing here holding up a little tartan mini skirt, apart from if I was doing like a fancy dress as like a Scottish person. Put that in and I do kind of like it. I like the tones. It has to be, to me, it has to have this brownie tone in. If it's like a red one or a green one, I feel like it's too much like Scottish vibes. But I do think this one's really sweet. This is from the um, Divided range on H&M, which I do think is aimed at like that slightly younger audience. But it doesn't mean that I don't think we, we can get away with these at our age. <laughs> our dinosaur age, no, I'm joking. But um. In all seriousness, I actually do really like it. It's a lovely, like, soft material, and it does have a little split, but I have seen, and I really like the split, where it's, like, just on the thigh. It's not intentionally meant to be there. The split is actually intentionally meant to be on the side of the skirt, but I think I styled it, like, just on my thigh, because that's where I wanted it to be, um, which is why the pattern, I think, didn't... Yeah, it doesn't sit, like, straight where the split is, but I don't really think it mattered. I think you could wear it definitely either. Um, and I think it was under £20, so really, really good quality. It's also got a stretchy, elasticated waistband, which I feel like if you suffer with the bloat like me, a little bit of, like, bloated belly, it's perfect. I feel there's a lot of coats to get through. We're doing one more coat, and then we'll call it a day. Coming in with this little number. Now this, I like. I have to say, I like, it looks a bit like mohair style, you know what that means? Like, like that really nice, like soft fur, which makes it look expensive. I have got a really good, like, eye for seeing things, I think, that look really expensive, that don't cost a lot. I feel like that's my niche. Finding things that don't cost the earth, but look classy and expensive. Everything just keeps falling on the floor. Um, this is a, a wool blend, it's a size medium, and it's midi in length. It's quite square, it's quite boxy. Um, I do think it will suit most shapes, which is great. Um, I do like it, and I do think there's quite a few ways to wear it, but I don't think it would be your most worn coat. Um, however, you could probably, like, you can definitely style it quite a few ways. Um, over a jumper dress, over jumper and jeans, skirt and chunky jumper, roll neck jumper, boots, like there are going to be lots of ways you can wear it, but obviously it's up to you. What do you think? I don't, I'm kind of undecided. I feel like it's something one of my best friends would wear and I would love it on her, but I wouldn't necessarily pick it for me. So that's where I'm at with it. So yeah, I think it's about the 50 to 60 pound range. Um, and I was just looking for something a little bit different because I've got quite a few plain coats. So I was just looking for something a little bit different, but I think this one's probably going to go back. Um, let me know if you think I should send it back on. And that is everything from today's haul. Make sure you subscribe for part two. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed, hit the thumbs up. If you're going to be here next week, leave me a comment. And I shall see you then.
and make sure you're following on Instagram. And like I mentioned, if you would like to shop any of my pre-loved items on Vinted. I am also on TikTok too. Okay, bye now.